You say your God is benevolent and caring and loving, but I'd like to put forth this quote by Epicurus. He said, if God is willing to stop evil but not able, then he is malevolent. If he's able to stop evil but not willing, I'm sorry, if he's willing to stop evil but not able, he is not omnipotent. If he is able but not willing, he is malevolent. If he is neither able nor willing, then why call him God? It's a quote and question to you. Okay. The great question. That brings up the problem of evil, which is the number one um, issue facing, I believe, Christianity today is the problem of evil. The issue is that when he makes that statement, when he says that, he is not accounting for a God that can account for evil in his plan. He has created a God that cannot allow evil and said, God cannot allow evil, therefore, since there is evil, there is no God. Rather than recognizing that God has a plan for evil. What is, why does God allow evil in this world is ultimately what it comes down to. And the answer is, ultimately, satisfying or not satisfying, it's for a reason that's perfectly sufficient for him. I don't have to know why God does everything. God's ways are not our ways. God's thoughts are not our thoughts. His are higher and way beyond our ways and our thoughts. So the very posing of the problem of evil, as um, um, the quote I put up said, assumes the Christian worldview, assumes that there is such a thing as right and as wrong. But the problem of evil, we have to account for the fact that God says he has a plan for evil. And he has prepared a day when he is going to judge the quick and the dead, when he is going to judge the unrighteousness of the world. And so many people say, I want a, I want a God that will get rid of all the evil in the world. And so we see in the Old Testament, God have his chosen people, the Israelites, kill the Amalekites because of the unbelievable evil. And he allowed that evil to take place for 400 years. And what does the person who says, God, I want you to get rid of all the evil say to that God that gets rid of evil and gets rid of the people that were doing those things? God, I can't believe you would do that. You're evil for getting rid of the evil. So we find ourselves not wanting a God that gets rid of evil and not wanting a God that tolerates evil. The truth is, if God were to come back at midnight tonight, if the clock were to strike and God were to get rid of all the evil in the world, where would you be at 1201? 